Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I wanted to show you today my new uh, Bobcat version 23. I had been using version 22 for a couple of years and I'm excited to have uh, the new V23. My biggest sort of frustration and complaint with V22 was that it never was fully stable, uh, at least for me, and it seemed to be the case with uh, a lot of the online discussions and forums as well for other folks. But uh, everything I've heard is that the V23 is a much, you know, more complete and you know robust package, and hopefully won't be plagued with some of the same problems. Um, some other sort of silly things that I'm hopefully are behind me me now um, are, you know, my um, some of my settings were never remembered. So, it's, for instance, every time I went into any of the dimension tools, I had to re-enter the font and all the scale settings, which I think has now be fixed with V23. Um, and then also I was still having some problems with um, pocketing islands where the CAD, uh, the toolpath would end up moving through or rapiding through one of the islands, which obviously is a, you know, a critical failure sort of. So um, but what I wanted to do, I just got the software a couple hours ago, installed it, and uh, you know, thought I'd just give you guys a, a quick overview of what I've sort of noticed is different or new. and. I've got a couple topics in mind that I want to cover, um, which I'll do in a different video, but you know, some coming soon. Uh, one of which involves the art package, which I've used before and I've done a video on before, but I've sort of found a new way, um, which takes a little bit of time, but it ends up, you know, being a much more, uh, you know, high-quality way of taking a JPEG image and turning it from that sort of uh, rasterized JPEG into a vectorized format for your, you know, generating toolpaths. So, um, like I said, I'll cover that stuff later. What I wanted to do now is just to show you. Um, I took a start looking through the menus here and noticed there are some new things. Um, I think, and I could be wrong on some of these. I'm just sort of, you know, going about what I'm observing to be different but it looks like circle between two points and fit arcs is new and definitely could be useful if, given if they're intuitively what I think they are other looks like I think we had gear before but I don't think we had a sprocket or a roller cam so that could be interesting um, I don't use surfaces a ton but it does look like these two fill in and extend may be new solids looks the same that's the same. Looks like there are a couple new, uh, maybe, uh, we had auto, but X ordinate and Y ordinate. Um, maybe even point. Yeah, so some of these are maybe new. Uh, in, I haven't gone through the sub menus here. Strings might be new. Um, measure. Oh, that looks interesting. I think it might be new. Um, these down here I think are new as well. It looks like 3D uh, tools. And um, my screen resolution is 1280 by 1024 and I am actually running off the screen now on this toolbar which I wasn't before so that, uh, that must be the new utilities there so I'll have to figure out how to re rework my toolbar. And then the most conspicuous thing I noticed is uh, is this toolbar here which has things relating to masks and I I don't recall ever seeing the word mask in V22 and if I did I'd never realized it but I think it's a new um, feature so I'll be curious to see how that works um, I actually am excited too because this is the uh, pro version of V23 which means that when I go into my milling two axis is you know I think basically the same but three axis the important one here is the equidistant offset, which um, I think of as waterline milling, or if you're doing true three-dimensional, three-axis work, um, this will keep a constant Z movement so that you could really create, um, you know, very good-looking uh, things, or I think of as, you know, mold-making type stuff. So, be excited to play with that. Um, I believe it's still got the verify with this sort of through the Predator, so um, excited to see how that works and uh, you know also just excited to see how stable it is to see if it uh, you know lives up to what I've sort of read about it being a big improvement over V22 but uh, I'm very excited to have it. I've got quite a few projects going on right now so 
I will definitely try to get to um, some of these in videos and if anyone out there has any questions um, or specific requests or something you know definitely sh you know th shoot me a an email or something and I'll I'll see what I can do otherwise like I said I think I'll try to do a video on the art um, idea I have playing with it uses the um, dragging corners and deforming corner contours uh, I'll try to do that here in the next week or two that's all folks thanks